Hello, I'm Sylvester Stallone. In my next movie, I was thinking about shooting on a beach. A lot of palm trees, flat, sunny, something close to home, and the hotter the better. You told me we were doing a movie called Atlantis, not Antarctica. All right. Action. Shakespeare on an island. 15 below. A nice little romantic comedy. We are moving in for the first shot. Avalanche Dr. Zimbago. Something nice and easy and peaceful. But then I woke up. Time to get back to something I love doing. Ah! Time for a challenge. Ah! Ah! Take a few risks. So I got together with director Renny Harlan for an endurance oh, no. test that would nearly kill us. We shot the film high up in the Italian Alps. It's called Cliff. Jake! Three minutes, there's a bomb! Get the hell out of there! There's a bomb over your head! I'm going for Sylvester Stallone plays mountain climber Gabe Walker, who loses his nerve and leaves the mountains when something goes wrong high above the valley floor. Sarah, reach out! Come on, honey! Hey, sorry, Gabe. You're almost there. You're almost there, Gabe. And I play the character of Jessie. She's a mountain ranger, and she climbs mountains, but also she's a helicopter pilot. And uh, she's a love interest as Sylvester Stallone, Stallone, as I call him here. Almost a year later, Gabe comes back for Jesse and also gets a chance to reclaim his confidence if he can overcome the odds. John Lithgow and I play uh, Quaylen. He's about the baddest of the bad guys. He's the leader of the bad guys. You know what love is, Kristen? Oh, what a guy. Quaylen's gang hijacks a U.S. Treasury jet carrying $100 million, but they lose the money and their plane crashes. Gabe and his friend Hal, played by Michael Rooker, climb to their rescue, only to be forced to find the money cases. Did you get all that? Well, it's a good story, and, well, I recommend it, too, I have to admit. And here's how we made it into a movie. Good morning, guys. Can we raise these mountains up a little bit? Brought me all the way back up here to hang me off a cliff. Is there some kind of subtle message in this? Been on ground level too long. You have to get over the fear again. Just when I thought I had it kicked. Had to evacuate about a month ago. The weather was so bad, and now we have come back here to Cortina to shoot our final action sequence. Well, we're moments away from having the helicopter flying over here. Yeah. Starting with you standing, uh, I'll take a little comes fuel out, out, then out. pointing that way, then he is going to fly over there. Go Walk, you Brazilian bastard! So you're still alive. I must admit, you're a real piece of work. Stallone's character, Gabe, is holding the money bag over the abyss, and Lithgow's character, Quaylen, is approaching him with a helicopter. And we come closer and closer. This is after she's been and dropped off. They are facing off. each other. Quaylen is trying to get him to throw the money into the chopper. I got what you want. Come on. Come on, close. I storyboard everything. I, I draw every every single image beforehand for this movie. I had about 2,500 illustrations, and so I kind of see it as a as a comic book in front of me before I even start shooting. Then you're gonna go run, Jesse, run. Jesse, run! What about you? Run! Run! And then he's gonna slide in, and he's gonna be hovering right above us. Bring it closer. So it's going to be a little wind. <laughs> and you thought it was all 
Autographs and sunglasses. Oh. I want to do one more rehearsal. Cut. Okay, pictures up. Rolling. Action chopper. I haven't been this excited about a film for a long, long time because I, you know, I, I did films that were, uh, you know, experimental things that I thought would be interesting, but sometimes they they don't quite live up to one's expectations. You got the picture, Walker? Ah, uh, yeah, you got a year. This one. Uh, everything that I had hoped it would be is coming to fruition, and uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. And this is really his big comeback to the genre where he is the strongest. Keep your arms and legs in the vehicle! At all! That was fantastic. Okay, everybody go to 96 frames. I'm gonna do it once in Six million dollars. Naturally, I would like you to be as slow and as close as uh, possible, completely safe. Go close. So that thing. <coughs> Are you okay with that? The shot works better if you're not quite that close to him. Now, what I was looking for really was something that was um, extraordinarily difficult and also had a uh, kind of a fresh premise. I think taking risks in your life as well as uh, in your career is what makes it interesting. This is how great fortunes or great accomplishments are achieved. Well, after Die Hard 2, I was looking for another movie that could give me the same kind of thrills, yet give me more in terms of the characters and relationships. And Cliffhanger was the perfect movie because it, it is an old-fashioned action-adventure movie. Thank you, Sly. Hey, Mark. Damn you, Monica! We can get a pizza to you within 30 minutes. If not, we'll give you a free helicopter. Fair enough? Stop! I mean, don't show anymore. It's a cliffhanger, remember? Buongiorno a tutti. Tempo in Nord Italia, cortina inclusa. 40 cm di neve, freddo intenso. 20 below. Tempesta aria. Consiglio a tutti di rimanere dentro. Grazie. No Thank God. Well, I think movie making doesn't get harder than what it was in Cortina. It was always snowing, blowing, very cold. We were in very high altitudes where it's very hard to breathe. And it's uh, very hard to get the equipment there. Very hard to get the actors to actually go on the edge of the mountain. This is like walking cryonics. No one's going to age up there, you know that. <laughs> There, on top, on top of, of the peak. peak. Come on. Hold it. Looks like a winding route to me. 
The fastest way is straight up to East Face. Of course, there are only 12 guys in the world who can do it. You want to try it? Let's stop there. Let's do it one more time. Everybody has been exercising and working out for six months. To be able to work in this altitude and in these conditions and in this temperature and so on. It's tough for the actors, it's tough for the crew. And they say comedy is tough. Standing on a mountain, a blizzard, and a tank top, I mean, who could ask for more? I come to the edge to see where he is, is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, the motivation would be that right there. We are in the middle of the mountains, in the middle of nowhere. We have the most elaborate computers. I see him back up. Yeah, yeah. He, he knows approximately where you are. <laughs> Get him! No! Do it! He sees me, then he does see you. Okay, he's firing. We move with this rig to him, yeah, and then actually above him, and look down to a valley, and in a seamless shot, we get the impression that Sylvester Stallone is about 4,000 feet off the ground, standing on a little ledge being shot with a machine gun. This is gonna be a great shot. Very technical. It's, it's extremely uh, precise. Shoot up the side of the mountain, catching me in the shot, keep going, so you get a, a sense of elevation and, and uh, a vertical ascent that never quite has been done before. A lot of dialogue there. I was really happy with that. <laughs> it's snowing. It sits actually quite great. That is what we want in the movie. Kind of like a survival school while you're at it. We started out cliffhangers. I didn't know we were doing the diner pass. We visited. Pretty soon we're all going to be eating each other. No food? Okay. <laughs> Let's cook a grip. We already are planning a sequel for the movie. It's not going to be called Cliffhanger 2. It's going to be called Beach Hanger. And it takes place in the Caribbean islands. Nessun sollievo per Sylvester Stallone, Renny Harlin e Cliffhanger. Temperature sotto lo zero continuano imperterrite. Nevica ancora. Quando finirà? Buona fortuna, Sly. Rudolph. I thought you guys were going to show that. The truth is, I had been up about 10,000 feet, maybe a few weeks too long. You get a little lightheaded and do things you're not proud of. But the Alps were spectacular, I have to admit that. I'd probably have to say this is one of the 10 most beautiful spots in the world, I would think, seriously. I've uh, been a lot of mountain ranges around the world, but this one has it all. I mean, this really has great, majestic, poetic quality about it, the serenity, and it's, uh, it's very well environmentally protected. We chose the Italian Alps because they are the most spectacular mountains in the world, the highest, most dangerous, most beautiful. In this movie, the mountains really, they are one of the characters, and the backdrop of the movie is gigantic. Gabe? Gabe, where are you? I'm just hanging out, Jess. Well, I don't recognize the face, but the butt does look vaguely familiar. And of course, when you're doing a movie about the mountains and people and the adventure taking place on the mountains, you have to play with the altitude, the height, and the danger of falling. What makes it so hard is, first of all, I don't like heights. <laughs> Big problem when you're doing a mountain movie called Cliffhanger. I despise them. You know, to the to the very core of my being. But the character can't. So you literally have to psych yourself out. And say, look, you are not you. 
when you sign down to do this, you have to be somewhat schizoid. So when we get up to the heights, um, after an hour or so, I find myself going out to the edge, hanging one foot over the edge, and I'm saying, I'm not afraid of this. Through the character, is, the minute he yells cut, I go, yo! Are you crazy? The people in the audience say, you know, that, that, is that real? Is that, I mean, could that be? Nah, yes, yes. On this piece of film here, this is, this is, this is Stallone. This is, there is, that is not a double, that is not, that is him. And he has no safety line. This rope that you see on him is a part of the scene because he, he decided to jump across this cavern. And just in case he, 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 it's a part of the scene, this is not a safety line. He did that climb himself. And uh, it looks very easy, but it isn't. Number one, he's probably 10,000 feet when he did it. But he's done, that, that's just one of, of, of many things that he's done. You know, working with Sly's been fantastic, especially as a stunt coordinator, because he's, we've put him in a lot of positions that are very dangerous. He's done most of his, I'd say 95% of his own stunts. He really does work hard, and we work him hard, but uh, he's a fitness fanatic, and he's in wonderful shape. He's out there doing it, man, and I was impressed. Am I scared? Yeah, but it's a good scare, you know. It's kind of like saying, I do. of being in an action adventure is that uh, I'm portraying a woman that pretty much is doing what the men are doing. They had us hooked to the side of the cliff at 12,000 feet with a 5,000 vertical drop straight down. I couldn't look down too much. My knees and my legs would get a little, that feeling, that hot feeling that rushes through them. Gotta, gotta do it. Let me light the flare a little sooner before they get too close in. I have a fear of falling. Heights don't bother me at all. Roll play. Ha, ha. Wow! <laughs> I'm having a great time doing it. I mean, it gets dangerous, yeah. It's, it's kind of scary at times, but I have a good time. I'm making a <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's great, Hal. Huh? Hey. That really inspires confidence. <laughs>